Hey guys, it's Oakley with the SP Podcast, and today with a special guest, May Legaspi. Hi. Um, so May is a varsity girl is in varsity and is a girls volleyball player in the senior year of high school. Um, thanks for taking the time with me to for the podcast episode. Thank you. Um, so how long have you been playing volleyball, and what is your position in the team? Um, I've been playing since I was in fifth grade. So, oh my gosh, how many years is that? That's like seven. Uh, Seven, seven years, right? <laughs> seven yeah, that's years. seven years, and I'm a setter and an oppo. How has being a setter on the team been for you? It's been, it's more of like you have to quickly, you have to quick, think quickly. It's like the quarterback of a football team, basically, got to make the plays, know what's best for the team, what's going to get the points for the team, just trying to be, trying to give the right choice to the right person at that time. Has that been difficult for you? Um, statistic- statistically, no, but there are times where it's like we have to get things going if we want to get back on track. Like we have to get a lead or just get a side out, basically. And what I have to do to get there is just is what's needed in that play, I guess. So on the inside of the team, could you give insight of your responsibilities and how they work to co- collaborate with your team? Um, I guess I have to put, I shouldn't, ex- oh, how do I explain this? Um, everybody has their part in the team, and if one doesn't do it and the other one has to make up for it, it's okay, but, like, we ha- we all trust each other, and, like, there are times in the game where, like, we might not be there, but then we know for a fact they're going to make up for it and everything's going to be okay. It's always best to be optimistic because our league especially is very intimidating with the girls that we're playing. But with anything, it's just the opportunity to play with them is just amazing because it's really fun. <laughs> and it is really competitive, but it's – I don't know how to describe it. It's just we're all a family. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been difficult to collaborate with your team in total? What do you mean? Has it been difficult to, like, connect more like Oh, No. Um, I feel like ever since we're freshmen, like, we've connected so quickly ever since our freshman year, and it's just it's just gone so much better, and, like, we know each other so, so well. Like, we built a lot of good friendship out of it, for sure. So, what do you like most about the sport? I like the adrenaline that comes from it and the way I feel about it, because I love the sport so, so much, because it's, it's for something you put a lot of time in, it's kind of like... How can you not love it, you know? And it's just something that's always going to be part of me. And I don't know. It's just it's just really fun. So so you consider the adrenaline the best part? Yeah, just getting the reps in and like, like, wow, I got that up. Like, that's like, it's just shocking. But it's like, I'm capable of doing that. So playing volleyball, your first time actually playing a team was freshman year. Javier Harris. Ramirez and Brianna Rodriguez. Um, so as far as being on a team... Your first year was freshman year, correct? For a high school team, yeah. Have you ever been on a different team? Yeah, in eighth grade, I did club volleyball at Lava. Um, that was my first, like, travel-ish, you could say, team. That was just, like, getting all the jitters out of the way. But freshman year came, and I was ready. And then as far as being passionate about it, how long have you been passionate for volleyball? Probably ever since I've joined club. Like, when I, when I switched clubs over to go to Legacy, that's when I really started to be, like, I can get better at this. Like, I'm I'm capable. I can do it. Like, just being self-driven and being determined and disciplined to what you want, you can reach your goals if you really want to. So you felt like is it really, it's a really important part in your life? It really is. It's just, it's like therapeutic in a way. It's, it's helpful. So as far as success in your team, you haven't really, ha- like, over the past couple of games, it hasn't really been there. How have you been... Um, how have your team leaders uh, kept the spirits up, and how how has your coach helped you keep the team positive and lighten up the team? So what's always best is to always not doubt ourselves or cut ourselves short. I think if someone allows themselves or just says something like, it's okay, like, we can accept the fact that we lost, like, I don't think that's the right thing to do, especially because that allows everyone to just doubt themselves and it will show on the court, which is unfortunate. So I think just... Being optimistic and just saying, like, 
it's okay. We didn't get that next ball. We can be there. We're more than capable of doing that. We've done it before. We can do it in the game. It's just knowing how to execute it in a way, I guess. I don't know. But um, our team, we don't get each other to put each other down, thankfully. We're all very uplifting. Like, with one of us um, had the right intention by putting the ball in one spot, but we got blocked. That's okay. Like, keep swinging or just tool them and everything will be fine. And then as far as school, how has the skills on volleyball helped you in school? Um, like, what do you mean? Like, the skills that you used in your volleyball team or practices, how has that helped you with schoolwork and overall in school? Oh, um, I guess it's like, well, it's relieving for volleyball because once I'm in volleyball, I don't really think about much, but putting my head in the game, I'm not worrying about like, oh, no, I have – like an essay due tonight or I have a lot of homework to do I'm just like I'm on the court I'm not going to think about school right now but once I'm out of the court that's when I'm like okay now I gotta do my work now I gotta like (laughs) put everything together make sure I don't fall behind but it's just it's like an outlet like that's very therapeutic so do you consider keeping up both volleyball and school difficult not really I think because I don't myself I don't take any hard classes because I am more focused on volleyball I don't want to add myself to something that I don't I know I won't keep up with like I want to I want the best for my ability and if I can't do that I might as well put myself in a place where I get the most benefit which is volleyball I spend Mm -hmm. a lot of my time on it like it's all I really have really so you feel like you spent practically I practically your entire life in volleyball really yeah that's all I've been doing travel is my volleyball I don't go on vacation (laughs) that's my that's my travel (laughs) so um how are you skill wise and how do you prove how do you feel like you should improve your skill set what do you mean with your skills in volleyball how do you wish to improve those like just get better at volleyball yes um I think it's helpful because everyone has different coaches every year because the changes and all. Um, I just think it's best to pick up a lot of knowledge from other coaches and apply that to yourself because everyone, like you're, you're, you're your best coach personally. Like you know what you did wrong, and you can apply it and self correct yourself in that moment or over time, and it'll show basically. So do you feel like you put a lot of stress on yourself because of that? I mean, not necessarily because if I if I know that I did my part correctly, then I don't have to worry about it too much. And if my teammate is aware of what she did wrong, then everything's all right I get that <laughs> yeah so uh what are you guys working on in practice uh to help the team and get more positive results in the, on the court um so right now we haven't been practicing lately because of the heat but from what we've done we've been doing a lot of serve receive like just being ready and having a lot of options um to where the ball needs to go to have like all the hitters um, be available so it's been working so far so with the heat, has it been more difficult to practice and actually like work on football itself? Oh, I'm sorry, volleyball. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um, yeah, because it's volleyball is a lot of repetition work, and it's it's really needed for all games, all game <laughs> plays. But I mean, with the well, considering like we didn't have pra- we hadn't practiced all like all this week, we had only one morning practice, and we played West Ranch yesterday, so. We didn't do too bad. We kept up with the score. Show. Mia Marino. And then, because you're a four-time player, you've been in this team since you were a freshman, correct? Yes. How has, like, transitioning from COVID guidelines to now been for you? Oh, it's been, it's been a lot of things. I know from the start of my freshman year, like, they would switch sides, but they don't do that anymore, even – because COVID is still a huge thing going on. And it's it's better because I can breathe more. Because before I had to wear a mask and I got used to that. But now it's just like when I wear a mask to play, it's like I can't. It's a little it's a little harder. <laughs> but if I have to do it just for everyone's safety, I will do it. But I think it's gone a little better because like everything's flowing through. Like there's not a lot of restrictions, thankfully. Yeah, the restrictions were really rough on every sport. How did you feel about when they came off? Did you feel more uplifted? I did. I was more relieved because I never realized that something that that I did all the time and it got taken away because of 
COVID, it was just like, I'm so grateful that I can play right now um, with everything going on still. It's just like, oh my God, it's like relieving because it's just so helpful and it's really fun. So, yeah. Um, have you sustained any injuries playing volleyball? I have, yeah. Um, I've sprained my wrists before. Sprained a lot of ankles, 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 ankles whatever. <laughs> um, I mean, thankfully, I haven't got anything else. Um, but it's mostly sprains right now. And then with those injuries, how did that affect you playing volleyball? Um, it was a little bit of a setback, but I do strength training that will benefit me from preventing all injuries at all. And I think it's working. So, cause I don't want to put myself, I set myself back because I know it is a team sport, but I, as an individual feel like it's, it's heartbreaking. Cause like, it's hard seeing mm-hmm. them play. It's like, I can't help but cheer. Because that's like that's your passion. It is my passion. So it's like it's like watching someone do your job that you love so much. <laughs> you can't do anything, but it's okay. So what has been your biggest challenge, and how how, how have you faced and overcome it? Um, I don't know actually. A challenge, for, for like for volleyball especially. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Um, probably confidence for sure, because when you just jump up from frost to like varsity it's a huge it's a whole other level and with the girls that have been playing varsity their entire career it's kind of just a lot of something like a lot of confidence that needs to be built up and I feel like I've ha- I have that now um there are times where I do doubt but I try not to go back down at it and just be optimistic and hope for the not hope for the best but expect the best um but I think my confidence has risen a lot since my freshman year for sure is most of your confidence based on volleyball Mm, yes and no because I feel it's best to always have your head up in all things because if you don't I myself don't like it when people look down at me Mm -hmm. so I always try to at least have my head up head up straight and just walk with confidence and you know just have confidence I don't know know. yeah just confidence so what has gone well for you in volleyball just for high school yeah for high school um for sure the friendships that I made like because it's just you spend all day with them and you really get to know them and it's just like you didn't know that would happen um and it's something you can never like replace because I feel like that's going to be a long-lasting friendship. Um, but I don't know. I will never forget the girls that I was playing with. But, yeah. And then based on connections, obviously you're not going to be, like, friends with any everyone. Right. Yeah. So what has been your biggest conflict with someone in volleyball? Um, everybody has their own different – everybody has their own, like, thing in volleyball. Like, they have their own ways of, like, their mindset, of course. But – I feel it's best if there's anything on the side that isn't in volleyball, like that what happened, that shouldn't be involved with us at all in the game. Because if that takes effect and it's going, if it's going to affect everyone, it's not the best. I feel as though everybody needs to be, to be mature and handle it away from volleyball, to be honest. If you want what's best for everyone. But for myself, there's been conflicts, but I just... I don't really focus more on that. I just focus on what's best for everyone. And then what has been working for you guys for as a team? Or just like bonding or just like... Uh, bonding wise and like just working together in total. Um, So far we haven't had like... We had a um, team bonding for all teams at the park and we were playing like all funds and games that we did um, tug of war. Tug of war, yeah. yeah. We did tug of war, and then we did water balloons. Threw a water balloon at my coach. That was pretty fun. I don't know, just having fun with each other, making all the memories that you didn't know you were gonna make. It was just really fun. And then of college, are you planning to go to college? Um, for volleyball or just racquetball, or just in general? Both. Yeah. Um. Right now, I'm in the recruiting process to get um into college volleyball. I'm aiming for um. NEIA or Division Two or Division Three, but 
I feel like Division Two is something I really want to get into. And what what do you well, how would you feel and what would happen if you didn't get into the colleges you wanted to get in? Um, like I don't like. Do you mean like if I have like a goal, like I want to go to that college? You mean? Yes. Oh, right now I don't have that kind of mindset. It's more of just wherever whatever college wants like what whatever college wants me, and what whichever college would get me the best opportunity as of playing time and the skills are getting uh, or my skills are getting a lot better. Um. That's what I want. It's never like, oh, I want to go to like USC or I want to go to like Baylor. It's never been like that because I feel like with the girls that I have to compete with, I have to put myself in a spot where I get the most benefit. Competing with girls that are six one, it's kind of hard, but height should never matter, mm-hmm. of course. But I just, I want to put myself in a spot where I get the most benefit. And if I can't get that, then it's kind of hard. And then, even beyond college, are you planning to still play volleyball? Not even on the team, just regularly. Oh, yeah. Like, for something you've always started when you were young, I will. I will always want to play, like, open gym to have fun with my friends. And it's always fun if it's, like, a cool play we did. It's like, wow, I'm at, at my age, I can still do that. It's something I want to say when I'm older. <laughs> and then, as far as flexibility, how did, how did that and the freshman year flexibility go to now? Because of volleyball, you need to be flexible for certain things, right? What do you mean, like, flexible for certain I mean, such as jumping, because you start not as good, and then you go on. It's more on skill set. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying to put it, like, skill set, your skill set in freshman year weren't the same as now. Okay, so. How has that improved in total? Oh, um, I did club ever since then, so... Um, I feel like club is really helpful. I get a lot of reps for high school, which is really nice, but club especially has helped me a lot to get where I am now, and I'm so thankful because if I wasn't there, I probably <laughs> probably wouldn't be where I am right now, but I'm very thankful to the, to the coaches that has helped me um, to get better and just to always want what's best for me. Well, thanks for joining me today, May. Thank you. Uh, Come back next time, guys, for another SB podcast and check out all our other SB-related stuff, such as newsletters and football games. Thank you. Bye.